you may have noticed them, all the political signs out as we approach the election. But you're seeing those uh, signs in many places that you haven't in the past. Thanks to a law passed by the Arizona legislature last year, restrictions on those signs were mostly lifted. A nine on your side's Corey Marshall checked in into that today. Corey? Valerie, well, the law isn't new, as you mentioned, but the size and the amount of the signs, here's just an example right here. Well, that is. This political season, the signage started early, some popping up in June, thanks in part to special elections. But you see your opponent's signs go up and you say, well, gee, I better get some of them up there. And I think that's one of the things that happens. And since then, they seem to be multiplying, flooding major intersections, one candidate in front of another, opponents facing off, <laughs> sign-wise. Really, what we're attempting to do, and what I would like to think that it's both parties, mm -hmm. We're trying to educate the voting public. That's what the process is. It wasn't always like this. A year ago, the legislature passed a law superseding previous sign restrictions in the city of Tucson. Do you think that this is an example of politicians changing the law to, to make the campaigning easier for them? No, I don't. Uh, signs cost money. They take time and effort to put up rebar, having them printed. It, it doesn't make it easier for the candidate. David Bradley served in the Arizona State Legislature from 2003 to 2011. He's running again this year. He says had he been a member of the legislature when the sign ordinance was passed, he wouldn't have voted for it. To a certain extent, I would agree that it's to the, in theory, to the benefit. I, I, what, what good signs are, I think, is always up for debate. Tucson City Council member Steve Kazachek says it's not only an eyesore, it's a distraction for drivers and a pain for pedestrians. All over town now we've got our, our major intersections looking like crap. I don't have any problem with the small signs intermittently spaced around the city and private property. This is ridiculous. Now, something else that you may have noticed this year, these stickers, a lot of candidates are posting these on their on their signs, warning vandals that it's a misdemeanor to either vandalize or, or alter these signs in any way. Valerie. Accor, do you know if there's been a lot of vandalism on these political signs? We spoke with Tucson police and they said that it's not so much vandalism, but some of the candidates are reporting that their signs are just simply disappearing. Yeah, that's an ongoing problem. Thank you, Corey.